All right, what's up with YouTube fam? I'm back again with another video. So listen, man, y'all remember the Cheesecake Factory woman, right? She done came out and she done had some things to say. And um, ultimately, man, you know, from the bits and clips that I have seen, she still ain't holding herself accountable for what she did. And I feel like this. You got to hold yourself accountable, man. Once you, once you mess up, man, you messed up. And it's all right to mess up, man. I be having to tell people that all the time. It's okay to be wrong, man. It's all right. We all make mistakes and we fuck up sometimes. You feel me? But anyway, it go, man. You know, um... I got more so a full video of what she was saying versus the clips that I seen. So we finna go ahead and check this out and see what she got to say. I done found certain things online. I actually got him and her speaking in the video as well. They did an interview with somebody. And um, yeah, man, I got the audio of that and stuff like this. So yeah, let's go ahead and check this out and see what's going on. And I'm going to give y'all a rewind of what took place for those who don't know what the hell is going on because i know sometimes y'all be missing the videos and sometimes youtube don't send out notifications and stuff like that and with that being said hit the like button man y'all wondering why y'all ain't seeing some of the videos here and there's because y'all not interacting with the channel and that ain't gonna show it to you if you're not interacting you feel me but anyway go man you know um i got that in here as well the way i can get caught up to speed if you don't know what's going on and you'll be able to put everything together but other than that man like i said before i feel like she don't deserve him i feel like he was too good of a man to her and I feel like that, you know, when people get what they really need, they overlook it for something that's the, that they thought that they wanted. And it ultimately don't even be for them. You feel me? But it is what it is. You got to go through what you go through to find out what you need to find out. You feel me? But let's get into it and see what she got to say about this whole situation. Hey, guys. This is Alicia. All right, what's it's up? It's been a while. Well, she look way different now. But there have been quite a bit of things on my mind. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> We know. I believe that many of you have seen the uh, well now viral video about me choosing to reject the Cheesecake Factory because I wanted more from my beat. Tripping. I. want to well let me say this it's interesting to me that just how a moment in time right mm -hmm. can shape how so many view you and so come on let's I want to talk about, I'm trying to remember, I, bear with me guys, I wrote down some notes so I can remember everything I want to say. <laughs> um, I watched the comments, the shares that you guys, um, the opinions that you guys had. Mm -hmm. And I re have reflected on all of them process all of them that I was able to read. Um, Shit, come on. Many of you have been vocal about how entitled I was, mm -hmm. how I misused this man. Definitely. And I want you to understand that my mission has always been for when, to empower women, um, for women to feel respected, cared for, um, I mean, that's true. And with that being said, you also got to realize that you don't have to put somebody else down to uplift yourself or others. People who do that are just spiritually low anyway. There's nothing that you can do for them. You know, they're going to continue feeding off everybody else because they're never satisfied when it comes to having self-respect and things like that. But uh, for her to try to say, like, um, you know, uh, she's been reflecting and just things like that. They're still not holding accountability for what you did. And you saying that you can't understand how people can shape or form an opinion about you based off of one scenario. You got to look at it like this, man. You're basically acting like you're better than the next person. Like people don't like other people to look down on others or them as well. You feel me? Nobody wants to be looked down on. Nobody wants to be belittled. And the way that she made that man feel small... I ain't rocking with it at all, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I think ultimately he ended up 
you know, standing up for himself, and he got all the power back in that situation. But from the beginning, you know, he was just bamboozled. He was shocked. He was like, what the hell going on? You know, which he had every right to be like that. But, uh, yeah, you know, I feel like he should have just dropped it off as soon as the phone came out. As soon as you try to record anything around me or something like that, and I don't know you, you got to go. I'm not trusting it, and I don't like this shit, and that shit weird to me. The world don't need to be in our personal business. Nobody needs to know nothing that we got going on, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, man, I'm pretty sure this was a very, very humbling experience, and it is what it is. You get what you get when you out here acting a fool. Let's get back into it. Be misused, mis you know, or abused, right? I've seen and heard um, many a horror story, men and women, not just women, men and women, and... I wanted to make sure that this was a topic that we brought attention to. Um, many of you interpreted uh, within, you know, interpretations that I saw. I want you to understand that this was never about exposing or embarrassing anyone. The purpose was to spark discussion, to foster learning and growth, right? But I've seen some interesting interpretations and it has caused me some uh, more questions. Mm -hmm. um, there have been some hurtful comments. What people want me to come for my job. <laughs> I'm not in there. Interesting yet. me how angry someone can get about something. Things that don't directly affect them. Okay. But what you saying that, why would you put that out there in the public for everybody to see? If you can't understand why people do or feel certain ways about certain things, why put it out there to get their reaction in the first place? You said, ladies, you wanted people to interact with you on this. It just didn't go the way that you wanted to, and you still don't want to hold yourself accountable for that. You should have been like, I understand y'all frustrations. I did see why I was wrong here and there, but ultimately, if that's how she felt, because if she don't feel like that, then stick to whatever you feel. And I feel like if you feel a certain way, stand on all 10 about this shit, stand on business, you feel me? Understand that people are not going to rock with that. And I mean, for you to try to say you can't understand this and understand that, you got to keep that same energy because you thought they was going to understand you from the beginning. You feel me when you put it out there? So yeah, let's get back into it. It's almost over. To the point where you want to be harmful, right? Now, I don't understand. That is kind of overdoing it. Fucking with live All screaming respect. Why she's speaking so slow? She was talking fast at Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> because I am one who loves to mm -hmm. discuss things, right? Yeah. Who's always open to learn and grow. Mm -hmm. So, guys, you're going to get your opportunity to talk with me and Jay a bit more. And um, shit, come on, girl. <laughs> damn, no disrespect, but god damn. We're just going to um, come on slow. We're just gonna have a dialogue. I mean, so yeah. Thank you for your time. I hope you take this opportunity to come so that we can have some more dialogue. Okay. It's all about growing and learning. See you tonight. Okay, 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 okay. This is the original video. It's the full length video as well for those who didn't get a chance to see it. And for those who rock with me and want to relive this with me, we're going to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately, like I said before, I feel like that she wasn't worthy of a guy like him. You know, this guy's mental and emotional intelligence was up to par because a lot of people would have just overreacted. But like I said before, I would have took her ass home. So the phone would have came out 
we definitely would have left. But you trying to belittle me, you was late to the date, all of the other shit going on, and you got the nerve to try to act a certain way with me just because you're not eating what you want to eat or going where you want to go. Hell nah. Uh-uh. And she was the cause of this because she went on time. He had a reservation for something else. But he still tried to accommodate her with another restaurant, and she wasn't happy. So what do you expect? People going to be on your ass about that. Let me just get the door for you. Okay. I thought you was fake at first. See, this is a real situation. He got me at the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. Oh, you're not this far. Mm-mm. Yes. She a whole other person right now. Uh, did you want me to open the door for you? Okay. Are you? You're recording me? Yeah. Yeah. This is the Cheesecake Factory. I would have took her ass home right there. This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. What's the problem with that? This is a chain restaurant. Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? You want to talk about it? She was popping her shit. I'm, I'm fine <laughs> talking about it. You in front of them? Oh, yeah. I want to talk about it. Yeah. Come on, get up on in the car. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. I would have got straight in there and crunk it up. So, yes, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So you expect a man to go all out on the first date. Is that right? I mean, you're supposed to. Look at, I mean, when you take out a beautiful woman <laughs> and you're courting her, you're <laughs> because I, I get courted. So you're courting her, right? You're supposed to take care of her. You're supposed to cover her. You're supposed to protect her, cherish her, treat her well, right? Yeah. And, and I, I, I agree. No, no, I, I went into this right date as I expect, uh, with the expectations for myself to keep you safe, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to respect you, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. to pay for, for your food, of course, pick you up, of course, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just treat you like a gentleman, which I believe I have done. I mean, you, yeah, and, you've been pretty and nice, then, but I mean, and then she's came back. I. On the other hand, have certain expectations for a girl I go out with on the first date. I expect her to be respectful too. I expect her to be cooperative. Mm -hmm. and, and at least, you know. Um, what did I do that wasn't cooperative? Well, I mean, like, even like uh, when we were walking to the car, uh, you wouldn't uh, put your hand around my arm or anything like that, or hold my hand. I mean, it's too early for that. Okay. I yeah. Don't know I yet. can respect that. I can respect that. Okay. When uh, I got to your apartment to pick you up, uh, you didn't want to invite me in. I can respect that too. Just, we're not again. I mean, I we're not there yet. Okay. Yeah. And then. And she keep on saying she don't know him and things like that. Okay, let him figure out who you are. If this is, I mean, if this was the scenario in the beginning, which we later on figured out that it wasn't. But if somebody is trying to do something for you and you're steady saying you don't know them and things like that. But yeah, man, if you're trying to get to know someone and you want more out of them, you know, maybe you should give them a chance to understand and learn who you are first before they want to take the extra step. You know, I've seen a quote that's been floating around lately just basically stating that these dudes don't be broke. You just got to be hurt. And that's something that I very much respect. You know, people think because they look a certain way and uh, they dress a certain way that they can get better treatment from others. No, people really are worried about your character, how you are out here dealing with other people, your demeanor, everything goes in, everything goes in that right there. You know, you gotta be a good, honest and good spirited individual to receive certain things from certain people. Everybody not here to reward you for looking, you know, how you look. They don't give a fuck about no aesthetics and all of that. They give a damn about how you are in totality, you know? But yeah, I mean, what do you expect? You talking about you don't want to touch his arm because it's early and all that type of shit. Hell, it might be too early for him to want to go to where he wanted to go to. You know what I'm saying? But he just made sure he can accommodate you trying to take you somewhere you weren't even on time. You know, let's get back into it though. But, I mean, I feel like I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do as a woman. But I, I got mean, myself all made up. wrong with the Cheesecake Factory, right? Yes, there's a lot wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. Okay, well, look at, I mean, look at my plan. 
where we were gonna go. See, plan the date and everything. See, now that's that's where that's where we should have went. All right, right there. Call See, him. Call him. No. What do you mean no? See, I, I, I specifically know. told you both yeah. yesterday and this morning that I'd come to pick you up at four a.m. at uh, four p.m. Right? Mm. And I got to your place at four p.m. You didn't even come downstairs for another hour. And so I was waiting downstairs I for an hour. Yeah. Right? But I wasn't expecting for work to take me so long. I got home a little late. It's not his problem. And like I said, I don't know you well enough to invite you up into my apartment. And that is not possible. And that's why I'm saying, I'm thinking, okay, if we're not there in the relationship to, you know, meet uh, at your apartment, then maybe we're not ready in a relationship yes. for such a nice fancy rela uh, restaurant as Aria, especially if I'm paying for the whole thing, hmm. which I'm still willing to do. I, mean, I would have been, okay. but if we're late, I mean, I told I mean, you we twice. It was late. We literally oh. left your place at the time the reservation was good, supposed to be. Mm. And I specifically yeah. said four because maybe we could get there early and even get, have some time to get to know each other on the way there and while we're in the parking lot. I mean, I'm we, waiting for a reservation. We can still get to know each other. Isn't there another restaurant you can call that, like, you know, the to that? I mean, I, I you, you don't said. understand. Look at me. I cannot go in the Cheesecake Factory. There's nothing wrong with I, I will die. That's okay. embarrassing. Mm. Listen, I, as I said, I have that's like what he, that's he said, forget expectations it. Oh, for no. I can tell it's not going to be there. I ha And maybe we're not right for each other. So, respectfully, I'm oh, going to just drop you off. At yep. I don't know if he did Y'all have heard the tires burning rubber. So, Y'all got the hill up out of there. You just <laughs> Long time to ago. call it a night? Yes. I mean, yeah. isn't there some kind of compromise or something? She hungry. Uh, ladies, can you believe this? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, I, I, if I don't feel respected, I, I mean, I'm not going to go through I mean, the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. get the I hell mean, out of my anyway, right? I mean, I mean, That's I cool. understand that I was late. I understand that. I understand that I could have been a bit more cooperative. Mm -hmm. You had, you made some good points. That's why I'm willing to compromise. Are you sure you want to go home? Uh, I don't have a lot of rules. I don't have a lot of expectations for a first date, but I've already set them, and you've broken everyone. So. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Oh, we're dropping you off. Man, I love how he did this. All right, whatever. Well, I mean, I guess I, I understand. You got to do what you got to do. The interview that both of them did finna come up, but it's just like a little piece of it. The audio, anyway. But yeah, so when you hear him talking and her talking, that's them right here. So don't get confused. I, I understand where you're coming. I would tell my call you know, to the ass, get the hell out of here. Video. Now, of course, I'm sure you think of it differently now, but in the video, you, you basically told him that, you know, you're not going in there, you know your value. It would be embarrassing for you to go inside a Cheesecake Factory. Oh. A lot of people like Cheesecake Factory. Oh. Now, yeah, yeah. so when I see that video, I'm thinking, okay, she must have some friends who probably would disagree with her going inside a Cheesecake Factory. Uh, your, yeah. your peer group. Uh, so I peer never, pressure probably keeps you from. Never live that. Oh my God! If I, yeah, I would have never live that down. Wow! I just mean, if they ate the cheesecake factory. They wouldn't let you live that down. No, I have an image to protect. I, I... <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Wow! Nicole does not do that. that. I mean, that was you know that that was my circle though. That's how cool. I mean. That's what. That's how we roll. Sure. I mean, to be quite blunt, that's how we roll. Um, I perfectly. It's a big, you know, it's a big thing in, in my circle. Mm -hmm. I'm from India, okay. you know, and the partition happened where, like, India was separated from Pakistan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a lot of my family were on both sides of that, and we had to come back together. Wow. And, and we had to, it was very important for us to stay strong after the fact. Mm -hmm. At the time, maybe we, we didn't care as much about like, creating this legacy but ever since it's like that's been one of the strongest parts of our family is 
the importance in creating a legacy. And with that in mind, like I've grown up with the idea that I want a strong family mm -hmm. here now that I'm living in America. The only kind of relationships I seek are ones where that is the only value. That is the biggest value. That is the most important thing for the other person as well as for me. Mm -hmm. Wow. See, foundation, a family and everything else is more important to him than an image. You feel me? Which I can understand it. And I understand her to a certain extent as far as like keeping your image up and things like that. And I mean, and especially if you're not doing it for others, if that's just how you genuinely want to be with your life, I really, really respect that. That is some top tier energy to me. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not finna let nobody get me out of character or I'm not gonna look down on somebody because my values in certain things aren't the same as theirs, you know? I'm gonna be able to be considerate in the fact that you might not wanna do certain things or your your budget might not be there. There's so many different things that go into this, but for somebody to act like that they are better than you because they eat differently or wear different shit and stuff like that, nah, that ain't what's up to me in my opinion. You should always try to be considerate of others and try to make sure that you can understand that you know, their values are different than yours sometimes, you know, and it's all right. But, you know, what everybody's feeling to realize that's agreeing with her, which is very little people, but y'all feeling to realize that he did try to do the more lavish thing in the beginning. She didn't hold up on her end. She was late. So what did you expect? You feel me? But, uh, yeah, she's still doubling down on it. She wouldn't go there. She got an image and this and this and that. She thinks she's too damn good and it don't make no sense, you know. But it is what it is. It's somebody out there that's for her, but I feel like they, they won't be as good as him, character-wise. Let's get back into it, though. That's that's actually powerful. So you are, what, six, one, six? I'm almost six, one, yeah. Almost God, six, damn. one. Wow. So that means... Shit, cuz. Let's see. 14 and a half percent of men are, are six, at least six feet, right? But that next two inches, for you to find someone taller than you, that's 3.6% of men in the entire world Mm -hmm. That are, that are tall enough <laughs> that are six, they're at least six foot two. That, is that discouraging? I mean, I only need one. I only need to be you need one. one, but he needs to be that height. He needs to make the resources right. Yeah. He needs to be funny. He needs to be charismatic. He needs to be disciplined, and that doesn't discourage you. <laughs> like, I'm an optimist. But no. Did I like yeah, it? Yeah, like but it. no, I mean. An optimist. An optimist. An optimist. Mm. So I went to get mm. some drinks mm -hmm. for the first time in ages. An opportunity. And huh? I saw this Basically. beautiful woman who it seemed like every other guy in the bar was uh, either intimidated by or too shy to talk to. Mm -hmm. And I thought, what the hell? Why not? Fuck um. And she was, you know, minding her own business. And I asked her, you know, her name, Alicia. And I thought that's a beautiful name. And even despite how loud it was in the bar, we were still able to talk a little here and there. And uh, I got her number and mm -hmm. she had me go. Mm -hmm. and so <laughs> we kept talking after that for a little bit. And then like a week later, I asked her, you want to go out I mean, to, this, to this restaurant? Yeah. And I told her it would be a surprise. Mm. See this story? Okay. Some all right. woman. This Stephen A. I'm going to let him go in the end. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say what I got to say and I'm going to go. I feel like that she didn't deserve him. I feel like he deserves better. I feel like he got good character. He has emotional intelligence. He is intelligent. She is just full of herself. It's going to take her to get humbled even more. But you got to realize that there's so many thirsty men out there that have a lack of morals and values to the point where they're going to belittle themselves just to mess with her. So she's always going to have the big head in some sense. So, yeah, but you got to always remember with you having that type of spirit, that type of energy, Energy, that type of mindset, you will never reach the full potential when it comes to receiving a man or receiving somebody that God intended for you to have because you never know. You probably could have met your soulmate. Y'all just needed to work y'all way up. But a lot of people are not willing to wait. They're not willing to go through the process. And I can understand it too because some people have you waiting for the whole duration of your life. It never changed. It never do nothing. And I feel like that, you know, you got to give people a certain amount of time. But at some point in time, you got to realize that this is not for me. This is not growing. This shit ain't going to happen. Shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, throw that, throw that bullshit ass hope to the side and go off of reality. You know, be more uh, 
reality driven on um, people and things like that. But, you know, back to this story right here at hand, I feel like that she just fumbled the bag, in my opinion. And, you know, not as far as like money, but just as far as like a good uh, moral characteristic driven man, you know? But overall, man, that's all I got to say about this whole situation. I didn't say what I had to say. She got what she deserved in this situation, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, it is what it is, you know? Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this, and I will holler at y'all later on another video. All right. Let me read to y'all what happened in the video. And I'll show a, a segment of it to you for a second. But in the video, the woman records herself dressed up, donning sunglasses as a date pulls up to the restaurant. The date gets out of the car to open her door. However, her reaction takes an unexpected turn when she realizes that the destination is none other than the Cheesecake Factory, a popular chain restaurant. I like Cheesecake Factory. I love the popcorn, shrimp, stuff like that. Lisa Houston, I love it. Shrimp scampi and all that stuff. I used to love all that, but that's, I digress. The woman, the woman obviously was unimpressed, okay, with her snobby ass, all right? She was snobby. I'm sorry. It's the truth. You'll see what I'm talking about when I show you the video. She literally says, he got me at the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. I ain't getting out of this car. First of all, what the hell is wrong with Cheesecake Factory? What's wrong with Cheesecake Factory? Ain't nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. That's number one. Number two, not only is there nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory, the Cheesecake Factory Ain't that damn cheap. You know, you can't go up in there and, and spend $12. It costs, it, it, it costs you to get a meal and stuff like that. You're going you to pay over $80 to $100 for, for, for dinner at the Cheesecake Factory. So let's throw that out the way because that's important, all right? By the way, I hear they have great salmon too. I hear they have great salmon as well, okay? I personally like the chicken sandwiches myself myself. My point is what's the problem with the Cheesecake Factory? This girl goes on. She refuses to exit the dude's car and locks the door. This dude is struggling to get back in his own damn car. His own damn car. She's visibly upset, finally rolls down her window and confronts her date about their choice of venue. She goes on to express her disdain for a chain restaurant as a first date location and questions why he would take someone who looks like her to such an establishment. Quote, look at me, look at me. I cannot go into a cheesecake bag. Y'all don't believe me? Y'all don't believe me? Take a look for yourself. I mean, I, I literally don't understand. Look at me. I cannot go in the Cheesecake Factory. There's nothing I, I will die. You see, there are a multitude of ways to keep your ass single. To keep yourself without a man. 